He is in downtown Farmington with our coverage of the Farmington Homecoming Parade, Mark. Hey, thank you so much, Chad. And oops, we see the parade lining up on the other side of town. Other side of town, we are right at my first take community bank where success starts here. They've got their nice little FSCB spirit booth. All right, first date, let's see how much spirit you have. Yay! That's not bad. Four out of five doctors recommend you have spirit there. And uh, we can see the police car approaching, and we're going to be joined during this broadcast by Farmington High School student Josh Bailey. Josh, how are you? I'm doing good, Mark. How are you today? I'm great. Tell me a bit about yourself. Well, I'm a senior in high school. I do Black Knight Television, and, well, you know, I'm very excited to be here today. And, you know, I hear all the chicks dig you, man. <laughs> well... I'm not so sure about that more. Half of them, at least, right? Well, maybe. <laughs> okay, okay. And I got to tell you, I love the shades there. You got some uh, black and gold shades on? Oh, yeah, I'm rocking it. It's the biggest part of the year, Mark. It is homecoming. We need to, you know, get that going on. Get it going on here tonight. All right, we got some spirit going on here. We're going to get Crystal Boyer from First State Community Bank over here to talk to us for just a second here. And, Crystal, as always, you are a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Tell us about your spirit booth. Um, today we're having a spirit booth to benefit the Heart Walk, which is coming up on October 15th. So we're selling face tattoos, including the blackouts, and also um, yellow and black pom-poms for a dollar. Now, I want you to give us a little more of a description of your scarecrow, which you uh, referred to as a bit of a sissy the other day when we were talking. Tell us about your scarecrow. Well, I, I was kind of joking. He's not really a sissy. <laughs> he's more of a manly man's character? Uh, he's a manly man, and he actually works for Up a Creek Paddle Sales. Up the Creek Paddle Sales. Up the Creek Paddle Sales, he does. And uh, I think his name's Jamaican Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and if you get close to him, you can see that he has the Jamaican color uh, hat on, and, and uh, he's got a, a little bit of a braid in his in his beard. Something tells me you had a lot of fun with his wife. I know that Cheryl Hewitt had a ton of fun, and uh, her and him have been hanging out lately and talking about things, and uh, she probably put him out on the street yesterday. <laughs> and you, you're anxious to see what happens, huh? And she actually asked me twice today if anybody had heard yet, so uh, yeah, we're really anxious to see. <laughs> Tell us real quick about Pet Fest that'll be a part of the Fall Festival. Pet Fest is tomorrow. We're going to start registration at 11.30, and the registration will be at the Farmington Pet Adoption center booth which is going to be located um, right by the courthouse square which is where pet fest is tomorrow first take community bank does a great job getting involved in community events congratulations on well done work thank you so much all right that's crystal boyer stop by say hi to her the next time you're at the downtown bank she's a jewel let me tell you and we'll take a break and when we come back we should have the first of the floats Coming up, that's coming up in 90 seconds on KREI. Let's just call it the power of the purse. Grab your bag and join Jackie Berry for a girls' night out fall fling to benefit the United Way of St. Francis County. It's Thursday, September 29th from 5 to 7 p.m. at Twin Oaks Vineyard and Winery. Bring $20 for the United Way and an unwrapped toy or gift card for the season of hope. Bring your checkbook for the silent auction and your donation gets you food, drink, and door prizes too. It's a girls' night out fall fling for the United Way of St. Francis County. Join us at Twin Oaks from 5 to 7 on September September 29th and celebrate the power of the purse. If an unfortunate accident happens, don't settle for just anyone to put your vehicle back into shape. Trust the professionals at Kernan Auto Body in Bonterre. Not only does Kernan Auto Body offer years of experience and accepts only perfection when it comes to their work, but customer service and convenience are also top priorities for their customers. Kernan Auto Body now offers windshield repair for chips and cracks, and as always, Kernan Auto Body in Bonterre accepts MasterCard and Visa. Call them today, 573-358-7300. They're coming. The Adams Family is knocking them dead on Broadway, and now they're coming for you. The Chicago Tribune calls it a classic, full-tilt, fast-paced musical comedy. They're slaying them in the aisles, and you're next. The Adams Family. Snap up your tickets today. At the fabulous Fox Theater, September 27th through October 9th in the U.S. Bank Broadway Series. Get your tickets now through MetroTix. Hey, welcome back to the Farmington High School Homecoming Parade. We're set up on Columbia Street. We are right by First State Community Bank. And boy, I'll tell you what, 
Somebody still has spirit over there. <laughs> we we have see we see a, a sea of people all up and down Columbia Street, all up and down Henry Street, where the parade will make its turn and come up. And we also have the police car right in front of us almost now getting ready to make that first turn and to uh, start the parade off. Josh Bailey, let's confirm here, this police car is starting the parade. It's not here for you, is it? Oh, I hope not. I mean, I haven't done anything wrong, have I, Mark? Uh, have you done anything wrong or just haven't been caught? <laughs> You'll be at the homecoming game tonight, right? Oh, yes. I will be with the Nightmares Pep Club. So, actually, I will be in the crowd, so... Nightmares Pep Club. Tell us about that. Oh, it's an... It's basically a pep club. Um, we basically just have um, these students, and they, you know, they just stand there um, and root for their favorite team, which is our Farmington Knights. And so it's very exciting. Just be as loud as you can? Oh, yes. Be as loud as we can and cheer on. All right. Starting off as the parade, as the police, Chief Rick Baker is going by right now, waving to the crowd. And then we have the walking junior ROTC. You got anybody there you know? Anybody? You know what? I can't tell. I yeah. can't tell. Right before we went on the air, Josh says, well, I do know all the homecoming queen candidates. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes, I know them all. <laughs> and I believe the very first one coming up is Molly I, if my eyes don't deceive me. Or is that Ashley Gaynor coming up? You know what? I think that's Molly I. Um, you know, she was... Um, the Country Days queen the this year. The Country Days queen. That's what I was going to say. Right now we have the AFJROTC coming by. Hey, they're cheering for you. You've got a fan club. Well, you know what? I'm, like, real popular at my school. Oh, hey, I'm going to excuse me for just a minute. Let's say hi to the Country Days Queen, Molly I. How are you doing, young lady? I'm doing very good. Are you having fun? Yes, I am. All right, enjoy yourself. Right, we don't want to slow the parade down too much. Molly I was this year's Country Days Queen and a fabulous queen she was. And she's every bit as nice a person as she was queen. Oh, she's nice, all right. There's the homecoming queen candidate for ROTC. Tell us a bit about her. Well, she's Ashley Gaynor. She does ROTC, and her escort is Avery Rowland. And now we've got the uh, First State Community Bank team coming by as well. Nice, beautiful truck right there that they are driving. And now the walking crew. Now, check these folks out, huh? Oh, yes. They look like biker rock and roll dudes. Luke! Is that me or just see Slash? Look I, Slash. I don't know what that is, but... It looks like Slash from Guns N' Roses. <laughs> and now we have the, uh, I believe, the soccer team coming by. What kind of year has the soccer team been having? I'm sorry? What kind of year has the soccer team had? Oh, I'm not sure. Soccer's not my sport. Well, we see a whole lot of farming tonight. soccer players. What's up, gentlemen? Soccer players dribble more than most athletes, get it? Yeah. <laughs> and behind that, some folks from the St. Joe Catholic School coming by. Looking all nice in their uniforms. We'll have the folks from the St. Joe School at both of our stations, KREI and J98, next week to tell us about the uh, fried chicken dinner that's coming up in October. That is so good. Oh, baby. Sounds good to me. Now we got some. We have some more uh, St. Joe folks coming our way. Glad to have the folks from Black Knight TV hooking in with us today. What's your name, young man? Sissy. All right. Good to have you here. And we've also got KREI Web TV going on. We'll take a quick 30-second break and come back for more of the Farmington High School Homecoming Parade here on KREI. We are in the final days of our summer clearance event here at Lucas Smith Chrysler Center in Festus. Hi, this is Brad Smith. For right now, get 0% for 72 months on Chrysler 200, Dodge Journey, Chrysler Town & Country Vans, or choose $2,500 in rebates on these vehicles, plus $2,500 on the brand new Chrysler 300. But there's more. Dodge Avenger is 0% for 72 months, and the Dodge Durango is 0% for 60 months, or take $2,500 rebates on those two models. The summer clearance is winding down, but the fields are heating up. Here at Lucas Smith Chrysler Center in Festus, or log on to lucasmith.com. Broadcast of this parade, Crouch, Farley and Hiring, Bakken Lumber Products, Hastings Unlimited, Plumbers, Hardware, Downtown Farmington. The folks from U.S. Bank are going by right now, and let's just say they perform very well with the Scarecrow Contest. David Burke is coming by, and 
David, with the school board, what have you got going on? I mean, we're having a great day. A lot of people here today. Weather's beautiful. Is this a high school junior you've got with you? I have the I have last year's homecoming queen with me. I can believe that. What are y'all selling? Oh, uh, we have tattoos for kids and night spirits. What we're selling? Sounds what? like you got a lot of it. We'll let you guys go. Thank you so much. That's David Burke, the president of the Farmington School Board, and last year's, <laughs> as he put, homecoming queen. Also want to say uh, thanks to Crown Collision and Grand Rental Party Plus, both in Farmington, for sponsoring our broadcast. And, uh, Josh, I think we can hear, as they approach, the sounds of the Farmington High School Black Knight Marching Band coming up. Oh, you know, that's a good sound to hear. Every football game, that's a good sound to hear, Mark. Really good sound. All right, we're, when they get around to us, we are going to let them perform, kind of catch some of the music here. Got the uh, color guard going by right now, waving the flags, the flag court. And then you can hear the uh, band coming up. Of course, when they get right in front of us, they kind of go silent for a little bit, huh? Oh, yeah. That's the entire story of my life. You know that? <laughs> Got the band going by right now. Let's listen into a little bit about the of the drums here. Yeah, we we got all the brass section going by right now, and they're not doing the darn thing. No, we're not. we but we're just at the wrong place at the wrong time, and now we've got the. Uh, Color Guard coming by again with all the Farmington black and gold flags. And behind that, we have another homecoming queen candidate. Who is this? This is Miss Taylor Poley. She does Black Knight Marching Band, and her escort is Trey Mockler. All right. Good luck to her. And now we've got the Farmington Band truck that's got all the equipment. And behind that, a bit of a break. So what do you say we take a 60-second break as well and come back with more for the Farmington High School Homecoming Parade on KREI. Let's just call it the power of the purse. Grab your bag and join Jackie Berry for a girls' night out fall fling to benefit the United Way of St. Francis County. It's Thursday, September 29th from 5 to 7 p.m. at Twin Oaks Vineyard and Winery. Bring $20 for the United Way and an unwrapped toy or gift card for the season of hope. Bring your checkbook for the silent auction and your donation gets you food, drink, and door prizes, too. It's a girls' night out fall fling for the United Way of St. Francis County. Join us at Twin Oaks from 5 to 7 on September 29th and celebrate the power of the purse. Well, school has started, and before you know it, Christmas will be here. School jackets are still at the top of the Christmas gift list, so Hastings in Farmington is offering a layaway plan for $50 down and a monthly payment plan until Christmas. Jackets are available for all the area schools. You still treasure your school jacket, and your kids will too. Stop in or call them today. Hastings Unlimited on Cars Boulevard in Farmington. It's never too early to start thinking about Christmas gift giving. 756-1515. Back at the Farmington High School homecoming parade set up by First State Community Bank. Oh, we have some folks carrying shopping carts to promote the Help the Hungry Bake Sale. Mark that date for November 19th at the St. Joe Gym. We'll be a big part of that as well. Got the Girl Scouts, Daisy Troop 260. Coming by right now, and behind that, the Transition Club that is a part of the homecoming parade. Got the ROTC folks coming by and handing out flyers, reminding folks of the Help the Hungry Bake Sale and auction as well. It's the Farmington High School homecoming parade. We'll have the game tonight on KREI as they take on McClure North. That's a pretty good team, Farmington's playing. Oh, yes. You know, it's going to be a big challenge for them. But, you know, the Knights never fail to surprise me. So, hopefully, we have a good homecoming football game. Let's hear it for the Warriors, the Mineral Area Football League team. They're going by right now. They look like a bunch of rugged dudes, let me tell you. They can play some football. They get by us now, and behind that... World Cafe. Tell me a bit about this group. Do you know much about them? Oh, yes. I'm involved in this. This basically is based on respect. Um, you know, we have foreign exchange students come to Farmington High School, and we learn about their cultures and make some new friends. And um, we usually take field trips at the end of the year. One year, they went to the St. Louis Arch, so it's pretty awesome. And now we have the ninth grade float coming up behind that. We see the Brown family. 
And what we see is a clock. We see a Farmington Knight and a goal post all lined up there. Looks like they're going to destroy the competition, the class of 2015. Hey, we'll take another 30-second break and come back with more of the fun of the Farmington High School homecoming parade here on KREI. It's Sam Sism Ford Lincoln model year and close out. Right now, you can get 2011 Ford Fiestas, Focus, Fusion, Mustang, and Taurus at 2011 closeout prices. Plus, Sam Sism has SUVs and crossovers, too, like Ford Escape, Explorer, and Edge. When you think Ford, think Sam Sism Ford Lincoln, the trusted name for Ford and Lincoln for nearly 75 years. That's Sam Sism Ford Lincoln off Highway 67 between Park Hills and Farmington. Said Marketing and Sweetheart Chocolate sponsoring our broadcast today from the Farmington High School Homecoming Parade. FCAC, do you know much about them? Oh, I don't know. I really don't know about that. Well, they're coming by with a truck full of uh, young folks. And they look all kinds of wonderful there. Oh. And behind that, we have a, another truck. This one sponsored by John Robinson, who's running for state representative. Uh, probably his wife driving, and there's... John walking and waving to the crowd. And behind this, Roosevelt Elementary. We've got the student council. And boy, the uh, Roosevelt Elementary School has certainly had its share of successes over the years in academics, being a blue ribbon school and helping farming to become a school of distinction. They're going by right now. Like 80 some odd floats in this parade. And we're only through the first 25 now uh, as we have the Lincoln Student Council. And they're giving a little cheer out, a little shout out as they go. And behind them, we've got uh, Jefferson Student Council and then the Lincoln Student Council and Washington Franklin Student Council. So a lot of the younger grades are represented here. Very good. Nice and loud. We like cheering. Oh, yes, we do, Mark. Yes, we do. And uh, we got another one of the uh, youngsters' floats coming by doing cheers as they go we'll take another 30 second break got a little break in the action here and come back with more of the homecoming parade on krei ike's florist in farmington is your friend in the flower business they are your full service florist for fresh floral arrangements plants and silk arrangements let ike's decorate your table for the upcoming holidays ike's florist creates arrangements that will take your breath away that's Ike's Florist, celebrating 27 years in business on Hillsboro Road in Farmington, wishing the Farmington Knights a big homecoming victory. Ike's Florist, just a phone call away, 756-6441. Missouri's Parkland listens to the Rush Limbaugh Show, 11 o'clock weekdays here on AM 800, KREI, Farmington Park Hills, Deloge. Well, back here at the Farmington High School Homecoming Parade, we just saw one of the Queen candidates, Marissa Sutherland, go by. And now the uh, cross-country folks are going by Dale and Arlene Jones. And there's Emily Jones right there, cross-country star extraordinaire, going by. But why is she riding the truck when she should be walking if she's a cross-country person? Uh, you know, I think that's true, Mark. And now we've got 7th grade volleyball and 8th grade volleyball. That's going to be coming by. We're only about a third of the way through the parade <laughs> and they are just having way too much fun here sounds like it mark not even halfway through the farmington high school homecoming parade want to say thanks to uh, the briar patch and the boulevard midwest podiatry all seasons renee murphy attorney and commerce bank for sponsoring our broadcast i don't know if you could hear that or not but that's the eighth grade volleyball team doing a bit of a cheer and it looks like we're stopping for just a second so while we have a chance to stop we'll take a break as well and come back with more of the homecoming parade on krei looking for a physician that will treat the cause of your health problems dr timothy wolford at wolford chiropractic has been serving the community for 20 years and wants to serve your needs chiropractic care is used to treat a wide range of health problems Dr. Wolford offers acupuncture, which can treat almost any health problem, whole food supplements, and more. Wolford Chiropractic, 1036 Cars Boulevard in Farmington. Call today to see if Dr. Wolford can help you. 756-9292.
Bunker. That's what it says on the Washington Franklin float that is going by right now. Just a huge, huge crowd set up for this Farmington High School homecoming parade. Now, you were uh, here last year. I'm so, Here's the art club, by the way, going by. Is this as big a crowd as last year? Oh, I think so. Much more bigger crowd. You know, this is amazing turnout, Mark. Amazing. Uh, Got the class of 2014 going by right now. What year are you? 2012? I'll be graduating next year, Mark. I am so pumped to graduate. And then where are you going to go from there? Well, I'll be, grad I'll be transferring to Mineral Area College, and then I will go to SEMO to get my major in mass communications. There's the Tower of Power going by right now. Growing Room Preschool with a uh, float set up in a beautiful antique truck. Chevrolet 3100, it says. And behind that, Growing Room Preschool, classic truck number two. Now, who is this we have coming by? Um, this is a benefit for um, a senior student named Ronisha Jackson. She has a rare type of cancer, and she's getting treatment in Texas. Oh. All right, I hear this guy is dangerous. Tim, how you doing? Good, hey, we're, don't forget to come see us at the winery on Sunday for the uh, um, Rob Nisha um, Jackson benefit. All right, and that's at Sand Creek, right? Good to see you guys, and the best to Rob Nisha. That's a, there's also a barbecue at Country Mart next Saturday as well. More folks from Offenburg going by as well. That is a big, big benefit that they are doing. And now we have another uh, flow coming by. Looks like a bunch of youngsters. Some cheerleaders coming by is what oh, I'm saying. Oh, yeah, cheerleaders. Let's do this. I love cheerleaders. Hey, watch it there, buddy. It's a family <laughs> show. <laughs> All right, Mark, I'll watch my mouth. And uh, behind the cheerleaders, what do we have coming up next? I've lost my place. Can you believe that? I think this is the mineral area. Oh, it's the mineral area cheerleaders led by the lovely Rachel Kelly. They've done such a nice job, and now we've got some of the other MAC athletes going by as well. I believe tonight is sophomore night at Mineral Area College for their volleyball game I think that's at the Bob Seekers Fieldhouse. And there's Coach Stan Walden going by the new baseball coach. A few of the other coaches, the golf team coming by for Mineral Area College. There's Paul Fritz as well. Paul Fritz from the college. What are you doing, bud? I need an oxygen mask, please. Not as young as he used to be. <laughs> oh, Chris McTurnan. McTurnan. Home Services bringing by some Black Knight cheerleaders. Oh, more cheerleaders. So exciting. Now, are these the high school cheerleaders oh, here? Oh, yes. These are the high school cheerleaders. These are the big league cheerleaders. And now what do we have coming up here? Another. Uh, this is our cheerleading candidate, Ka Kayla Sandlin. Um, she represents cheerleading, and her escort is Ethan Hennis and Travis Wade. Ethan Hennis, he's a pretty good football player. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> All right, now coming up after that, it looks like we have another float full of uh, youngsters coming by. What number are we on, by the way? Uh, We're into the 40s now. I lost track, I lost track Mark. I lost track. 24, oh, that's the class of... Uh, you all don't look old enough to be 25 years <laughs> out. <laughs> Amazingly, they all agreed with me. <laughs> class of 2013 coming by with their float. Broadway this way. Empire State Building another way. While we have a break in the action, we'll take a break here as well on the Voice of the Parkland, KREI. If your windows stick, <laughs> slip, <laughs> squeak, or leak, replace them with Anderson windows with low E glass, low maintenance exteriors, and rich wood interiors, standard and custom sizes. They can turn simple window replacement into serious home improvement. <sighs> Stop by Gifford Lumber Company on Potosi Street in Farmington or call 756-5762. Back there's Julie Krauss with uh, Turner Chevrolet and Belgrade State Bank. She's got a better arm throwing little footballs than her, uh, than her husband did. Maybe that's why he was a running back and he turned to wrestling there. I don't know. Brownie Troop 3801 going by right now, or 33804. I'm sorry. And now we have some more Mineral Area Football League teams coming by. We've got the Warriors, and we've got the Crushers. You know, if your name's going to be the Warriors and the Crushers, you got to be tough. Oh, I bet you have to be tough. Class of 62 going by right now. Oh, did you see that catch? Did you see that catch? Candy, that came from a half a mile away, 90 miles an hour, and I still caught it. Okay, I could be lying, but it's radio. Oh, no, we've got TV. I forgot about that. There go the Crushers. 
We wish them the best. The kids get to sit, and the dads and moms have to walk. Man, that's age discrimination. Oh, I think so. Really age discrimination, because like, I think the parents will be mad. <laughs> We've got Farmington High School golf coming up here in just a bit. We've got a couple horseback riders coming by representing the uh, Crushers as well. Hope you're enjoying our coverage of this parade. You really should be here this afternoon. It's turned out to be a gorgeous day. There we go. Go Knights, it says on the board. And coming up, I see one of the biggest footballs I've ever seen, an inflatable football coming by for the Vipers football team. Sean Merritt, of course, he's in the middle of everything. There's Natalie Sago as well, helping with the uh, float. And it looks like we got a big ice cream dude coming up behind this. This must be, I wonder if this is the golf team or St. Paul Volleyball here coming up. I see a hot dog, and I see an ice cream cone, and a bunch of youngsters. We'll take a 30-second break and come back with more on KREI. If an unfortunate accident happens, don't settle for just anyone to put your vehicle back into shape. Trust the professionals at Kernan Auto Body in Bon Terre. Not only does Kernan Auto Body offer years of experience and accepts only perfection when it comes to their work, but customer service and convenience are also top priorities for their customers. Kernan Auto Body now offers windshield repair for chips and cracks, and as always, Kernan Auto Body in Bonterre accepts MasterCard and Visa. Call them today, 573-358-7300. <laughs> Athletes, they look like they could be a whole bunch of football players. They're big enough coming by right now. Maybe some uh, blue. I see one young man who is a uh, freshman in high school coming by. And here's a, these probably are the football players. I'm just going to guess. That was the freshman football team yeah, that, just, that just came by. And I think we've got the 10 through 12 football players Stop coming it. by after this. Now, this one is just our varsity team. This We're going to Jake the Snake and Mr. Hayne coming by. This is the big lease right here. They used to be pretty good football players back in the day. Well, you know, the streak is very good this year. I'm hoping to see more amusement this year. Here comes the uh, Farmington High School coaching staff right there. Craig Gibbs. And another homecoming queen candidate. Who's this? Um, this is our far sports um that's okay, Jess Hicks. This is Jessica Hicks, and she's escorted by Chase Bismarck. She, she's escorted by the uh, quarterback. Not bad work, huh? Not bad. What do we have here? A bunch of senior candidates? I believe this is our um, senior candidates. Tennis team, uh, maybe. Or, may, or maybe volleyball. Maybe volleyball. I was thinking senior class of officers. Still about 30 more floats or so. Here's the volleyball girls right now having a, uh, another great year. Having some fun at the parade, roving, saying hi to everybody. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. There's Coach Cantor, the tennis coach. The coach! The coach! One guy with a bunch of girls. That's a thorn with a bunch of roses. <laughs> he says, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I bet he's thinking that now. Got a Girl Scout troop coming by, 33-75. And behind that, we've got the uh, MFA truck. Small town USA, it says. And now we have a big truck coming by with a whole lot of FFA kids coming by. I believe I see Tracy Sampo going by. All the FFAs. Food sales roll. Uh, and even uh, there, oh, look at this guy going by with the homecoming queen. He looks like he's the luckiest guy in the world oh, there. I bet he's thinking that now, Mark. <laughs> Mr. Herbs knows his stuff, huh? Oh, yes. And up behind this, the Wolf Creek Fire Department, Fire and Rescue Department. We'll take a break. We've got a little break in the action here. We'll take a break, too. Broadcasting from the homecoming parade on KREI. Well, school has started, and before you know it, Christmas will be here. School jackets are still at the top of the Christmas gift list, so Hastings in Farmington is offering a layaway plan for $50 down and a monthly payment plan until Christmas. Jackets are available for all the area schools. You still treasure your school jacket, and your kids will too. Stop in or call them today. Hastings Unlimited on Cars Boulevard in Farmington. It's never too early to start thinking about Christmas gift giving. 573-358-7300. 
7561515. Hi, this is Jeff Layton, owner of Megasports in Farmington. I'm excited to announce our new online hunting store at megasportsfarmington.com. On our new website, you'll find over 25,000 items, including rifles, shotguns, tactical guns, handguns, and black powder. Also, you'll find ammunition, reloading accessories, scopes, and a whole lot more. So if you purchase online, give us a shot at megasportsfarmington.com. In the field or on the field, it's Megasports. We just had another Wolf Creek Fire Department truck go by with a bunch of youngsters in the back. And behind all this, it says Johnny Brock's Dungeon. Some neat looking Halloween costumes and yeah, we're just about here for Halloween, aren't we? Oh, yes, right around the corner. Have you picked out your outfit yet there, Ralph? You know what? I'm too old to trick-or-treat, Mark. Seriously, do you think a 17-year-old trick-or-treats? I'm 53, and I do. <laughs> <laughs> Good time to plug our J98 Halloween party. All right, let's hear it for the Farmington High School Girls Golf Team. <laughs> Janet Wells, what are you, a junior or a senior this year? That would be a senior. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to touch that one. Too easy. Too easy. <laughs> go golf team. Go golf. All right. That was the uh, golf team, as you just heard, going by. Now we've got a whole bunch of folks from Black Knight Stables uh, coming by. We are obviously coming to the horsing around section of the Farmington <laughs> High School homecoming parade. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Horsing around. Good one, Mark. Have you ever been on a horse? Actually, I once and I fell. <laughs> well, that's not good. It was no fun. Like, seriously, my back hurt. Well, just remember, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. You've never seen Mr. Ed, have you? You yeah. don't even know what Mr. Ed is, do you? I, heard, I don't watch old shows, Mark. <laughs> I prefer reality TV. <laughs> well, we're definitely doing reality, and I don't think anybody's got a tougher job right now than the girls following the horse being the pooper scoopers. In fact, I have to go find out here. All right, girls. Obviously, the two prettiest girls here have, have pooper scooper duties. How did you get this? Oh, this is our job at home, so might as well be in the parade. <laughs> you shovel it wherever you can, right? Keeping the streets of Farmington clean. One horse poop at a time. All right, I'm getting out of the way. I'm getting out of the way. Holy smokes. Mildred and Company brought to you by Ozark Manor. The lovely Christy Herbs coming by right now. And how are you, young lady? We've got a little break in the action. Having some fun at the homecoming parade on KREI. Medley's Ice in Farmington has been serving the area's ice needs since 1990. Everyone at Medley's Ice Company are proud supporters of the community and are proud to sponsor the area's finest athletes. Medley's Ice Company would like to wish the Farmington Knights best of luck this season. It takes a lot of hard work and motivation to soar to the top. The Farmington Ice football team puts forth both. That's Medley's Ice, serving St. Francis, Madison, and Iron Counties. Go Knights! Well, we just had Kate Burnett go by. Tell us a little bit about her. Well, she is Theater Guild's um, candidate for Homecoming Queen. Tonight, she'll be escorted by Matthew Wright. And one of the cooler folks right now going uh, past us, Knights Rule the Stars in Las Vegas, in Nevada. Las Vegas, baby, yeah. <laughs> you act like you know what you're talking about there. Well, uh, what can I say, Mark? <laughs> you, you're a gambler and a player, right? Uh, no, I'm too young to gamble. I'm only 17. Oh. Hey, we see the Burgess boys going back. They've got some, they've got some young athletes with them. Hey, bring it on, guys! We are actually getting not too far away from the uh, end of this parade, aren't we? It just went by so fast, didn't it? <laughs> Mr. Fishback, how are you, sir? Duncan Service carrying a whole load of young athletes. Looks like these are maybe some eighth-grade football stars. And behind this, some cheerleaders going by. Actually, this is the Nightline, Mark. Nightline going by right now? Oh, yes. See, this is why you're getting paid the big bucks. <laughs> you know these things. <laughs> well, of course I do. And another homecoming candidate? Um, this is Miss Ricky Augustine. She is Nightline's candidate for homecoming queen. She'll be escorted tonight by Kyle Hartrup, and I don't know the other candidate. Well, how did a girl so cute have a dad that was so not cute? 
Uh, <laughs> you're not going to answer that, are you? Ambulance district going by right now, and behind the ambulance district, we've got a break in the action. We'll take a timeout and come back with more excitement from the homecoming parade in Farmington on KREI. Kids are Kids Daycare in Farmington, where working mom and dad's kids call home away from home. Owners Jenny and Blaine DeVault have been in the child care business since 1988, and they love kids. Kids are Kids Daycare accepts ages 2 through 12 and offers a preschool kindergarten readiness program. They're state licensed and provide hot meals and snacks. Monday through Friday, 6.15 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Kids are Kids Daycare, where your child is our child, located on Maple Street in Farmington. Hi, this is Jeff Layton, owner of Megasports in Farmington. I'm excited to announce our new online hunting store store at megasportsfarmington.com. On our new website, you'll find over 25,000 items, including rifles, shotguns, tactical guns, handguns, and black powder. Also, you'll find ammunition, reloading accessories, scopes, and a whole lot more. So if you purchase online, give us a shot at megasportsfarmington.com. In the field or on the field, it's Megasports. Well, we just had the folks from Casey's go by and they said they could have it for delivery or to go and I was going to get some to go but they went right by me man. <laughs> Josh Bailey, a uh, senior at Farmington High School, helping us out with the color commentary here on KREI and I said we were about done but as far as I can see down Columbia Street I still see folks going here. We got more Mark, we got more. Well is that Jeff Owens? Oh my goodness look at old Jeff go and he's got all of his uh, football players, the Titans going by right now for the Mineral Area Football League. And we've got this nice program that was provided to us for the parade, but it's a little out of order, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I was trying to get it from the Suco, you know, person in charge, Charity Faith, and it just got a little mixed up. I That's go, okay, you did great. You know, I had to go get it in the morning, and then I... And then at the end of the day, she called me to get it, and she said this was the new one. I think it's kind of messed up, Mark. Well, there go the Longhorns. They're going by, and now we have another one of the Mineral Area Football League teams, the Blitz, going by, and they're raining candy. It's raining candy at the Farmington High School Homecoming Parade. And we've got some more Mineral Area Football League teams going by. The Mineral Area Football League, real popular. We wish these guys the Warriors coming by right now they're wearing their white and red uniforms and behind that we have the church of god represented and we have a pretty cool four-wheel drive vehicle coming by right now Ooh, i like the looks of that that's pretty sweet mark how'd you like to pick up your date for the prom in that thing huh <laughs> that would be pretty sweet though you know who this is here uh Helen candy we've got hertz Local edition, just uh, another entry into the parade. You know, I was about to say, it's not another homecoming candidate because we just always went through our homecoming queen candidates. Bunch of youngsters coming by. I see some good St. Paul girls coming by, or at least some St. Paul graduates coming by there. Want to say hi to them. And they, Oh, look at this. Lovelier ladies I've never seen. We say hi to them. They were pointing at me, Mark. They were pointing at me. Well, yeah, you're the chick magnet here. <laughs> and behind them, we have some more riders, including a couple carrying the American flag. And as they make their way by us, we'll take a break, too, and bring you more from the high school parade as the horses perform here on KREI. Need a ride? Then you need to see Denny Motors in Farmington. You can walk in today and leave with your new vehicle all in the same day. They're locally owned and operated. Denny Motors offers the area's best used cars. They offer easy financing and accept trade-ins. With nearly 15 years of experience, they make the process of buying a car easy. So if you're in the need of a ride, stop by Denny Motors on East Karsh Boulevard in Farmington or call them at 747-0599. That's Denny Motors in Farmington, the area's best used car dealer. DennyMotors.com or visit them on Facebook. Hi, this is Carrie Tamir, the new owner of Midwest Custom Embroidery, formerly Keeping You in Stitches. If you're looking for embroidery, screen printing, or vinyl on shirts, uniforms, sweatshirts, hoodies, hats, and more, Midwest Custom Embroidery is the name to remember. And we offer full-service pickup and delivery. We're Midwest Custom Embroidery, new name, same great products with excellent service. Call Midwest Custom Embroidery at 701-8017. 
Kids Are Kids Daycare in Farmington, where working mom and dad's kids call home away from home. Owners Jenny and Blaine DeVault have been in the child care business since 1988, and they love kids. Kids Are Kids Daycare accepts ages 2 through 12 and offers a preschool kindergarten readiness program. They're state licensed and provide hot meals and snacks. Monday through Friday, 6.15 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Kids Are Kids Daycare, where your child is our child, located on Maple Street in Farmington. Well, we've got a uh, rather large contingent of horses from the uh, Faith Cowboy Church coming by, followed by the ever-popular job of Pooper Scooper. So, <laughs> now that you've had a chance to experience the parade here, what's the better job? Is it being a color commentator on the radio or a pooper scooper for a horse unit in the parade? You know what? I just like commentating with you, Mark. You know, I just had a blast today. This made my day. You have done a great job. The first thing you said to me before uh, when we met was, don't embarrass me. I don't think I did too much, <laughs> did I? Well, I'm not embarrassed anymore. There's John Key from the Faith Cowboy Church. J John, let me borrow you for just a second. T tell me about all these horses you had. Oh, man, it's a great thing. Don't run you over. Okay, hey, we, we just got the horses out here representing the church, and we've got a great big uh, barn uh, this Saturday night. A trail ride all starts at 3 o'clock, and the chili dinner and the barn dance starts at 6. No horsing around, though, right? Uh, no, no, no. Cody, we'll even get you on one if you come out. That would be an event. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and behind that, we have Sam Weekly. Sam the Man, as they say. The uh, school resource officer for the... Farmington uh, Police Department coming by, and he's bringing behind it the end of the parade. So, Josh, we appreciate it. Well, thank you. I had a wonderful time, Mark. Hopefully I can do it again. Okay, man, you come back. If, if you're not married with children next year, <laughs> come on by and look us up, okay? Oh, I'm not going to be married by then, but yeah. And who's going to win the football game? Hopefully Farmington Knights. Say go Knights. Go Knights! Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh, there you go. Josh Bailey, he's helped us out.